Orient fans, are there any Bees players, other than Forshaw, of course, who you would swap with your current players? Ooh, that's a good question. That's a good Jake question. Bidwell for probably Gary Sawyer. Bidwell for Sawyer, yeah. I think you but that's because I left back to bowl. No, no, he's not. He, he's not bad. He, he played all right Tuesday, but yeah. He's well, he's not, well, you can't have him. Do you have a piece? Right? You, you can't have him. him. Bidwell for Sawyer, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Clay Donaldson plays well. But that said, I wouldn't swap Lloyd. I, I wouldn't swap Lloyd James for anyone this season. I think no, he's been brilliant. And you look at the assists that our players have got. You know, our, our key players. You know, um, Odebay, Joe, and Cox have got lots of assists between them. I mean, they're, you know, they're you know key players. Our strikers have got goals. You know, uh, would you swap Kevin Lisby or David Mooney? I mean, these, these are guys who've been around the block, yeah. who can handle pressure, who can score goals. Uh, you you got partnerships there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. There, yeah. There's understanding and. and you know, plus I think um, we've added a couple of players, you know, both through loans. I, I, I think yeah, I think that's the thing you can't underestimate is partnerships up front. Yeah. You know, Wolves have seen it now. You've got Dicko and Sacco. Yeah. You know, they, they you know, although they sound like a comedy act, you know, <laughs> that is um, Sacco shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you, 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 you can't you can't underestimate it. You know, yeah. we, you know, looking back at what we have, you know, we have Bob Taylor and Nick Forty, as Carl just said. You know, the teams that have got two prolific strikers that are scoring week in, week out, we haven't really got that. We haven't had that all season. Well, you know, not, not, not two, two players who are consistent. We thought it might be Grig. You know, we, let's, not, let's, not go, let's not go to the Grig area tonight. But, you know, we, yeah. we, haven't, we haven't got two firing strikers. And Orient, Orient have had that. Yeah, that's what helped them. We've scored goals from all over the team, and we Orient have never exactly. really been famous for scoring goals. And this year we've scored, you know, the most in the division. And that's but because Cox, or the Barjo, getting four from the wings. The front four on. all have over ten uh, goals. Mooney, Liz, today, yeah, and Sean Bat has scored yeah. goals this season. No, but, and but every like, time he brings a player on, they seem this, to do something. But this is indicative, right? We've got, you know, Liz being. If these are true, yeah, these are true. But no, our strikers work very hard for everyone else. So you can see that Liz and Mooney have got five and four respectively in terms of assists that's that's pretty good and if you think that they've got 15 and 12 goals between them as well that's that I mean they, 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 if you look at Mooney's play he brings so many other players into the game and everyone's well, every, what I noticed about Tuesday is everyone is just working very well as a unit both going forwards and going back I mean the amount of times like we had uh, you know Dean Cox working on his own 18 yard box to get the ball clear you know, I mean, people work, this team works very hard. I think Brentford right? fans will admit that, like in Orient, a, you've got a yeah. very, very good manager in Russell Slade, somebody who really knows the league very, very well. He knows how to really motivate the players, um, and you've got a terrific team spirit. No one's going to take that away from the team you've got. Terrific team. You have got a really good strike partnership, there's no doubt, and you've got there those extra players you know, to support them. Your assists, as it says in the stats, are fantastic. The question I've personally got is, do you actually have that little bit of magic that Alan Judge can produce, that Marcello Trotter can produce, that Clay Donaldson can produce? Because that front three from well, Brentford, they are—they'll do something out of nothing at a moment. I mean, you know, I, I don't want to bring this up, but you know, Dean Cox scoring from the halfway line against Walsall last season would suggest that we've got players, or, or even hitting Moody's one from 18, 19 yards yeah. on on Tuesday night, would suggest that we've got players who can. Hit, I mean, Mooney scored some ridiculous goals this season against Peterborough away. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the, one, the, first season, the yeah. one thing I'd always say is everyone goes on about it. Great, it was a great goal. One, people always go on about Warren having a great work ethic, a great team spirit. They've got a hell of a lot of talent in there as well. Yeah. That's something people don't mention. Look at Moses Odebarjo. I don't think there's a better right winger outside the Premier League at his age. He's a fantastic player. Still really young. The trickery he's yeah. got, the balance. Dean Cox has been doing it for three years now, top assists. Um, and you know you've got Mooney up front who when he first came to the club couldn't hit a barn door now he's playing with so much confidence because Slade has helped him grow into that role and put his arm around him there's a lot of talent in that team and people don't appreciate that and I think this season because they've been underestimated they shut a few people up and I think that's what we're going to keep bit, doing would it be it's just, a bit of a cliche saying so we just work hard because yeah, I think absolutely. I think we, all teams should we, work hard they should go without you don't, you don't get to where Brentford or Orient or where Wolves are in this league without, without, without having ability as well as the ability to work yeah. hard Port Vale work hard. You know, you they work to, really, you really hard, and they're very fit. But being good. where are they? They're, they're, you know, they're still top. They're top ten, ten, ninth, tenth. Yeah, that that will get you there. Yeah, yeah. Working hard keep will, get, up, will keep, keep you up, up, but it won't. It won't get you into that top three or four. Interesting. Jay.